All right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. No, no, put the can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joe, you sing the high part. Oh, you got it. Shoot, do I, shoot, do I. Gonna need the family. Don't forget about my brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums. We might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me. You're my family. Hey, Kelly, you got a date tonight? Nope. Sometimes I just feel like being alone. You know, thinking about my life, enjoying the comfort of my own thoughts. Sometimes it's important for a person to just be alone. I couldn't get a date either. <laughs> Want to come over? Sure. Whoa! Joe, want to go to the movies? What are you going to see? Suzette Rash in Slide, Willie Slide, The Adventure Continues. I don't think it's for me. Oh, yeah, now listen to this. We see uh, a small suburban home, any town USA. The doorbell rings. Suzette Rash, our heroine, answers the door wearing only her boudoir. <laughs> Sounds suspenseful. It's great. I memorized all the dialogue. As Suzette answers the door, she says, Oh, it's the mailman. And? That's it. There's no more talking in the movie. What time does it start? No, no, I gotta do the book. Hey, could be. Hey, Luke. I'm going out and I need some money. How much do you need? What is this, a third degree? Fine, fine, don't give me the money. Take you some of the pills. Thanks. So where are you going? I'm just going out, Lou. Can I come? I don't think you want to go where I'm going. Oh, you going over to my house? Hi, Cliff. Hey, Kelly. So where are you going? Okay, that's it. I'll tell everybody where I'm going. I'm going to a place where men go to meet other men. The Rotary Club? <laughs> Wait a minute. Penny, go to your room. I don't live here. I know that. <laughs> it's a place I just heard about today. It's near an amusement park in Ridgeton where gay guys meet. You can imagine what kind of rides they got. <laughs> it's not the whole amusement park, Lou. It's just an area nearby where gays can walk around in public and talk. You know, hold hands. Well, that's cute. I mean, that is really cute. Makes me want to vomit, but it's cute. I think it's terrific, Uncle Cliff. Penny! Bye! When I say vomit, I mean it in the nicest possible way. Please. Please. Joe, you never respect any of my opinions on anything. All right, go ahead. I'm talking about something that's immoral, that's filthy that's different from normal human sexuality. Lou, this is your brother's life. I'm talking about the movie. Please come with me. Ain't that something? What a small world. That's enough, Lou. In a city the size of a metropolitan area, I should run into my own brother in a movie with a trench coat pulled up over his head. <laughs> Look like rain. Bud, Princess, Kitten, I'm home. Hi, Donald. When did you get back from Chicago? I just flew in. Don't. <laughs> hey, Kelly, hey, you guys. What the hell happened to you this morning? Where did you sleep in? Uh, yeah. 
What happened to your eye? What do you mean? Saw so bloodshot. Oh, well, I had a couple of drinks last night. What did you do? Pour them directly in your eye? <laughs> Look, Joe, it's nothing. Uh, I got into a fight. With whom? They didn't leave their cards. <laughs> Look, Joe, it's, it's nothing. It's no big deal. It's just a fight. I got hit. Where? All over my body. <laughs> All right. I was outside the amusement park. This cute guy comes up to me, says he's gay, asks if I am. What did you say? What do you think? About what? <laughs> anyway, I say yes, and then two guys run out of the bushes, and uh, the three of them started in with me. Let me ask you one thing. What? Did you go on the teacups? I love the teacups that spin around. <laughs> Lou, your brother got beat up. What amusement park was this? It was over at Ridgeton. It's no big deal. Oh, I've heard of it. That park's supposed to be filled with homophobes. Oh, so them homophobes beat up other gay guys because they're afraid of overcrowding? <laughs> Lou, a homophobe is someone who's afraid of a homosexual. Phobia means fear. See, Lou, a homophobe is not a homosexual. Don't be so sure. <laughs> Did you call the police? Look, could we just drop this? It's no big deal. No big deal? Nobody beats up my little brother for being a homo except me. Thanks, Lou. Well, I love you in a manly fashion. Fine. Could we just drop this? No. If you're just going to accept this, I'm not. I'm calling the Ridgeton police. I already talked to them. Well... What did they say? They said, you got what you deserved, faggot. <laughs>